Hello one and all and welcome to Dark Vault Gaming. I'm your host Joe Dark and today we take a special look at outpost building in Starfield. Now if you're familiar with Fallouts and I mean Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 you will see that outpost building is very very similar to camp building in the Fallout games. Very simple. Well we're looking at a Bethesda game so it's goes to reason that their camp building and outpost building is going to be very very similar uh just so you know similar to uh, what i have on the screen right now is the photo mode which if you look it looks just like fallout 76 photo mode it's almost exact it's unbelievable and you can notice you could change the poses of your character in different ways shapes or forms so there you have it and there you go on that respect but let's get into the outpost building because outpost building is very very important in this game it's going to get you a lot of resources which you need for a lot of different crafting things as as well as as well as uh money currency credits so you're going to need some credits now before we begin what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell you exactly what resources you need to build your initial outpost and to build another outpost and to combine them. It's, it's very, very cool. Um, you can set it up where both of them link, link together so that you only have to land on one planet and you can stay in your ship and just gather all the materials onto your ship straight from the cargo bay. And the cargo will go from one planet to another planet and you'll be able to collect everything from both planets in one space now keep in mind in the beginning of the game you'll only be able to create outpost and connect them in one system later on in the game they'll let they'll allow you to expand to other systems but right now in the beginning of the game you're only allowed to uh, connect your outposts to in the same system so let's take a look at what we need to start this build okay here's the list of the required resources that you're going to need to start this dual outpost build uh, tungsten you're going to need 14 tungsten iron you're going to need 108 iron that's uh that's the big one in this iron aluminum is another big one you're going to need at least 74 Beryllium, you're only going to need 16. Copper, you're going to need 18. Adaptive frame, you're going to need at least 6. And lubricant, you're going to need 8. And zero wire, you're going to need 4. Those are the items of the resources that you're going to need to start this dual outpost build. And you'll be able to not only build outposts on two different planets in the same system, but you'll be able to assign crew members to those outputs which is very very cool okay so uh let's start up now here's the main thing if you don't have all of these resources it's okay because as you can see right in front of you there's a store called jameson mercantile this is the store that you're going to go to you're going to purchase all of the resources that you need directly from jameson merchant Mer mercantile now, uh, this is uh, located at the spaceport, which is uh, not too far from where your, uh, your ship docks, okay? So your ship is going to dock right up there. Uh, you'll be able to see it. There's your ship right over there on the right-hand side. So there's your ship. So you're going to come right up here, and you're going to go to Jemison Mercantile. You're going to go in here. And you're going to go up to the lady and you're going to purchase all the items that you need to start this outpost build. And there you have it and there you go. And it's like any other uh, Fallout game. Uh, I, I'm, I'm telling you, it's very simple. These are the things you need to buy. You're going to scroll down to resources and you're going to purchase whatever resource you need to complete this build. Now, if they don't have everything that you need to make the, to, uh, that's required for this build, it's okay. 
because what you could do is you could go back to your ship you could go back to your ship and if you notice uh with the over encumbered when you run you lose o2 and when you lose o2 you start to increase your co2 and if you uh get to the max you see what happens you kind of like bug out there so uh there you have it there you go on that respect okay so here's your ship right and you can uh this is another amazing thing with this game you can modify your ship you can uh upgrade different parts you can add different parts i have an infirmary in here uh it's it's very cool vasco is here all the time he meets and greets you as you enter the ship now when you come into the ship um and you're going to have to add this, but um, when, you're, when you have your original ship, you're going to have this. I added the, uh, the upper decks, so that's totally me. But, and you could do that later on in the game as well. I actually uh, added a uh, living quarters in here. But when you first start the game, yours will have a bed. So if you need to, you come down and you sleep in the bed and sleep in for 24 local hours. Once you hit that 24 local hour time, then you can go back to Jemison and everything that she had will reset and you'll be able to approach new resources. So that's what you're going to gonna, gonna need to do in the very beginning of the game. You go to New Atlantis, go to Jemison Mercantile, get everything you need. If you have to sleep and do it again, do it again until you have all of the required resources to start your first build. Now, let's go find some planets. Okay, what I did, not too far from Alpha, it's pretty close, it's called the Narian system. This is where I went because there's a couple of uh, areas out here that have some good resources that you can mine or farm and um, you can link them together. So, as you can see here, I have one of my outposts in the... Hold on a second... Okay, the moon of Samati has, uh, it's called Androphon. This is where I put my first outpost. As you can see, the outpost is right there. Okay. Then the other one that I picked was Podius. Very close to each other. And here's my second outpost. Okay, and they are now linked. Very, very simple. Now, let's go to how I actually created the build. And it's very simple. Uh, let me tell you, I'm going to take you to Androphon and show you exactly what I did there. I'm going to go right to the outpost. All right, very simple. And uh, it, it doesn't take my, If you're a Fallout fan and you have played Fallout 4, Fallout 76, um you're going to be very familiar with the mechanics onto building an outpost. Now, this is my current outpost. When you come to a planet, uh, is you're going to search for resources, okay? So you're going to hit your left bumper on Xbox, and you see this aluminum. You're, you're going to see highlighted areas on the ground, and that's where aluminum is. That's where the resource is, and... Um, you're going to be able to drop an extractor there as well. Okay, so now you can get the bird's eye view and you can see if if your extractor is red, that means you can't place it anything and you can't place it there because it's not needed. If you notice in the beginning, you're going to have a helium-3 extractor, an aluminum extractor, and a beryllium extractor. Why? Because those are the three resources that are on this planet that you have discovered. So here you go. You'd be able to place an aluminum extractor right here. And if you notice, let me see if I can back out here. Um, you can back out. Look how big the camp build circle is. You have plenty, plenty of room to place different items. Okay. So it, that's very simple. And when you want to place it, you just click your A button and it places the item right there. What you'd first do uh, when you start out is you drop this. 
That's the outpost beacon. That's the first thing you drop when you get to a planet. Now it's going to take you some time to research the planet and find where there are resources close together. And you're going to you want to find good ones. Iron is good, aluminum is good, um Beryllium is good. I have actually here, I have uh, a gas, uh, HE3 helium, and uh, that's a gas extractor right there. And so right now, what I'm doing here is, and these are your power supplies, your solar arrays, you place them down. I have three, it powers up everything really. And you have your satellite booster, so it boosts a signal to the other planet that you have your other outpost. Okay, so here's my aluminum extractor. So it's gathering aluminum. Now I have it hooked up to a storage container. So every time it pumps out, it only pumps out like two or three. So if you put it here, the storage container holds a lot. So it just sucks it right out of the extractor, right into the storage container. This one has a gas storage container. So it's doing the same thing. You link it up and it's very simple, simple to uh, link. What you do is you hold your A button down you can connect wires to it. It's very similar to Fallout. You connect your wires to connect your power. And then you, you uh, hit your left trigger. I mean, your right trigger. Your right, your right trigger. And you can connect it to the... Uh, if you notice, see what's landing there? That's my cargo ship. It's bringing all of the resources from the other planet to this one how cool is that and i'll show you how to do that in a second it's very very cool all right so you link up these storage containers to the actual extractors then what you're going to do is you're going to place this which is called a transfer container now you're going to scroll over your right bumper and your left bumper transfer container this is the transfer container so when you have more than one resource and you want to connect them, uh, this transfer container is what you place down. So you take your transfer container, you place it down, and you connect both of your storage units to the transfer container. Okay, now it's taking uh, the resources from both storage units and placing them in the main one. Then you place this down this is called a cargo link and I'll show you what that looks like okay this is the cargo link it's pretty big and it has a landing pad on it for your cargo ship all right so that's the cargo link that's what you're gonna place so you can link up now this is the intersystem this is where all of the items will come to okay the other one is for the other planet that's just the cargo link okay and those are the, if you look on the left-hand side, in the upper left-hand side, you'll see exactly what you need to build these. That's why you're going to need all of these resources to start this build. Okay, so uh, build these two different outposts and link them together. Okay, build these in two different outposts and link them together to allow the transfer of goods between them. Items in the outgoing container will be transported to the incoming container in the other outposts and vice versa. Uh, on the bottom link outpost within the same system no fuel is required so about every uh, minute or so uh, this cargo ship actually lands on your on your outpost collects all of the resources and drops them off in the other one very very cool so that's that and there's every you can build a lot of different things now if you want crew members to be here what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to build some kind of living quarters for them. And this is what I built. Now, it, hold the B button down. It takes you out of build mode. You have to build, and, and let me go back into the build mode. You just hit your left bumper, and then you hit the X, and it brings you back into build mode. And what you're going to need to do to... You're going to have to place an airlock. An airlock must be placed. Then you can pick from... Uh, there's all different kinds of uh, buildings that you can place. Science labs. Hab. Hab round. Small hex. 
hallways you can put some hallways in if you wanted to connect um, a hydrophonics you could do it a hydrophonics you could place that right there see all right so you have to do that now in order to get crew members here's the other thing you have to do let me come back out of build mode and we'll go into the airlock and this this game is I'm telling you this game is not only cool but it is one of those games that you're going to be playing for a very, very long time. Trust me when I tell you that. If you're into Fallout, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, even Skyrim, you're going to love this game. Now, this is what you need to place down in order to get crew members. Okay, and uh, let's go back into the build mode. And if you notice in the top right-hand corner... Um, crew station this is the crew station so once you place this you can assign crew members to the outpost and it's something that you're going to need to do because what i'm going to do now and you, you the uh the area of view is, it shows you the entire the entire outpost which is huge it's huge you have more way more build uh, area than you do in Fallout 76, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna come out of the camp mode. Let me leave here. Now we're gonna take a look at the other outpost. And so now, what you can do is you can go to your star map, okay? Okay, we're going to Podius outpost and we're gonna land on Podius. Okay, here's my other outpost. It's very simple. I have an iron extractor, okay? And I got a couple of solar arrays. Got my storage container, which is linked up to the extractor. And there's the outpost, and there is the... Uh... Alright, and there's the cargo link. And again, we'll go up, and we will see. And you'll even have a little control console. And you just link them. See? You just click on that and it links it. Outgoing resources. Build resources needed. And you got the iron. Outgoing resources is iron. So the iron is being sent to the other outpost. Okay? That's it. And that's it. Build your first two outposts as soon as you can. So you can gather resources and make some credits. There will be more videos coming out. Uh, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. Smash that like button and share. It helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already. And you know what to do. If you hit that bell, you'll get notified of all new upcoming content. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Everybody have a great day. Excelsior. Take care.